Hello everybody and welcome to another grammar lesson of the Greek language. Today we are going to talk about tone and syllables. First of all, what is a syllable? Um, there are actually two cases of what a syllable is. A syllable can consist of either one letter. For example, in the word ENA, which means one, the letter EPSILON, which is also a consonant, is a syllable by itself. Uh, the second case is when a syllable consists of a consonant and one or more vowels. So, for example, in the word Torah, which means now, Taf and Omicron, or Rho and Alpha, are syllables. Now that we have defined what a syllable is, let's define what a tone is. Tone is a mark we put on words with more than one syllable to emphasize them. Simple examples are the word Torah and OTAN, which means WHEN. As you can see, the letter OMEGA in the word Torah has a small little line on top of it. The same with the letter OMICRON in the word OTAN. This tiny line is called TONOS and is used to show which syllable is emphasized when the word is pronounced. However, the word YA, which means FOR, and the word KE, which means END, don't have any tone, and the reason for that is because they consist of only one single syllable. Um, and this is pretty much the main use of the tone. Now, uh, there are also certain things that you need to keep in mind whenever you use the tone, and we will talk about them right now. Um, the syllable with the tone is emphasized when pronounced. It makes sense, it is what we talked about earlier, and it's actually the main use of a tone. The tone plays an important role in the meaning of the word. The word pote, which means uh, when, um, the word pote means when. However, the word pote means never. As you can see, both of the words are written in exactly the same way, with one difference, the tone. And this is what makes them differ and also the reason why they have a different meaning. The words pos and pu uh, take a tone when they are used in questions. For posise, how are you? Pu pas, where are you going? Both of them consist of exactly one syllable, but because they are used in a question, they also take a tone. Um, tone is used only in lowercase letters. Capital letters never take a tone. There is, however, an exception, and this is when the first letter of a word in a new sentence has a tone. The first letter of a word in a new sentence is always written as capital. When at the same time it also has a tone, then we write it as well. Take for example the sentence when I go to school, o tampao sto scholio. The letter omicron, although it's capital, does have a tone. Tone is used only in one of the last three syllables of a word. Let's see some examples of words with more than three syllables. Aftokinito, which means car. Caramella, which means bonbon, and hipologistis, which means computer. Although these words uh, have more than three syllables, none of them has a tone on the fourth or the fifth syllable. Um, I don't know if you have watched my video about pronunciation rules. If not, please do so, because I talk about how, how certain combinations of letters are pronounced in the Greek language. The important thing to remember is that when these combinations take a tone, then it is used on the second letter. For example, in the word afti, which means they, Omicron Yota has a tone, and it is used on Yota, which is also the second letter. Avrio, which means tomorrow, Alpha Epsilon, in the word Avrio, which means tomorrow, Alpha Epsilon also has a tone, and it is applied on the letter Epsilon, which once again is the second letter. However, when the tone is applied on the first letter of a combination, then that combination is read separately. For example, the word Mayos, which means May. Yeah. Normally, you would read Alpha Yota as E, like the sound of Epsilon, and you would say Meos. But because the first letter, Alpha, has a tone, you read Alpha Yota as two different letters. So the word is pronounced Mayos instead of Meos. The same with the word Gaidaros, which means donkey. Instead of saying Yedaros, you say Gaidaros. And finally, for today, something that although doesn't really have to do with the tone, I think it is best when I mentioned it along with this lesson. Dialytica. 
Pialitica is these two small dots that you see on top of Yota in the word Gaiduraki, which means small donkey. Their sole purpose is to separate combination of letters so that are read as two different letters. Why is that? Because we need a way to read a combination of letters separately, although it doesn't have a tone. Yeah, um, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe and why not give me a thumbs up. See you next time.